Okay, I went over this before, but I'm just going to go over it again as far as the shell width of my bottom bracket. This is an 89.5 with bottom bracket. It actually comes up to a little bit bigger, 89.83. But it's an 89.5 bottom bracket for a BB92. So um, I have to use my bottom bracket here, which ends up being 92 millimeters across. But I have to use this 2.5 millimeter spacer on the drive side to make sure that it comes out to 92. So that's the orientation that it's going to go into. So all I have to do is put a little grease on there and um, I'm going to use this um, basically a homemade uh, bottom bracket uh, press. And the reason I did this is because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a bottom bracket press. But basically I just made this on a mill at home so, whoops, so that the bottom bracket fits right into this little indentation here so that centers it and I have one of those for each side so those will fit in there nice and nice and neatly so it's centered and um, it's pushing just on this outside rim this aluminum ring of the uh, bearing and so it doesn't push on the, the rubber cup itself so I'm going to use this to push that inside and just use a couple of wrenches on these nuts to to get it in place so let me get that set up and I'll put a little grease in here on both sides of the uh, bottom bracket and we'll get this pressed in. Okay, I got my uh, press all set up with my bottom bracket in there. I got the 2.5 millimeter spacer on the drive side and I'm ready to press this cup in. So I just have a couple of wrenches that I'm going to put on here and then I'm just going to slowly press that in. You can see right here I got about halfway on. It's hard to film and uh, put this on at the same time so I'll show you as I'm finished. Okay here it is finally pressed in and uh, make sure that the uh, cups are fully against the frame over here. This is the side with the spacer, the drive side. And you just need to make sure that the cups are fully integrated with uh, the shell. So I will pull this off now just to kind of show how well that is on there. I've never put on a press fit bottom bracket before, so I was surprised how much pressure it actually takes to put one of those on there. Okay, there you go. So, um, my press fit bottom bracket is fully on now. Okay, now that I get my bottom bracket on there, I'm just going to take a quick measurement here. This should come up to 96 millimeters across. You can see that. So 96 millimeters across is 95.31, but it can be a little bit wider than that. So looks like my measurement is good. I now I can put together uh, my chain ring on here and install my crank.